people are dying every week, every two weeks, and it's nothing that I can do. So I just feel hopeless. When it comes to the whole cops killing black teenagers in other states, I see it, I hear it, but that's not something I really like, that really grabs my attention because there's so much already going on in my city. Like, I gotta make sure I'm straight first, you feel me? Like I'm walking down the street or, like say for example, back then I'd be with my friends, we'd get, be ready to get, like leave each other, split up, it'd just be all right, see you later, see you tomorrow. Now it was like, I love you bro, be safe. Like, make sure you get home, like, you feel me? Because I might not see you tomorrow. Like, after everything that's going on, everybody's at war in my city, and it's like, it's too much going on. So it's like, that's all I'm focused on, surviving. There's a weariness in my soul that's just tired, right? It's just so tired, and I've only been on this earth 28 years, and I just can't imagine being this tired already. Mm. And I hear baby girl, and I've been waiting to hear baby girl all day. And she says she's hopeless. And baby girl is younger than me. And I know she's tired too. And I'm a social worker in the Bronx and Harlem. And so I have baby girls that look at me across the table and say, Miss Crawford, I'm tired, right? So I get it. And there's a weariness. And you just, you're tired of seeing it on a national level. But for me, it's not even just national, it's global because I'm, I'm not from here originally, so I'm seeing it everywhere. And the condition of my people everywhere weighs on me. And it weighs in a way that I don't know, always know what to do. And then there's a small glimmer. You said when you leave your homies, you tell them, I love you. And so it gives me tentative hope that I'm almost scared to have. I'm almost scared to have the hope because it's, it's coming out of such not easy places. Mm -hmm. But something in your narrative has changed where you tell your brothers that you love them. And my hope is that that, that love will carry. And my hope is that that love will, will move us forward. Mm -hmm. And so the climate is one that is equal parts weariness and 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 tentative hope, but it's tentative. Like I'm scared to have it. I'm scared to I'm scared to believe that we can move forward because every time we move forward it seems as though we kind of step back and I, I'm scared, but I can't unhear what I heard, which is that you told your homie that you loved him when you left. And God, I hope that that narrative changes so that when you have children, and I'm, I'm going to believe that you will when you have children, that they will turn to their homies and that they will say, I love you. And maybe, just maybe, the narrative will change from one of shame, from one of anger, and my people will learn to love themselves and love each other again. And though my hope is tentative, I have to hold on to it so that the weariness will not outweigh my desire to live. Because the trauma is real and waking up it's hard, but I'm going to hold on to the fact that you tell your homies that you love them. And that's all I have. And that's all I can do in this climate.